If you recently started your first real job that offers a retirement plan, hopefully a 401k plan, this is what you need to do to retire with enough money down the road. Absolutely, and so maybe the biggest point is the sooner you start, the better. Abso absolutely. This is when time is your friend. This is when being young and just starting off in the workforce is a really good thing. If you're, if you're 21 years old or when I'm going to do 25 years old and you're going to retire at age 65, that's 40 years to have your money in the market to grow. This is a co concept called compounding interest and it is your friend. Now then another thing is... If your company has a match, do it. Right. Just do it. And and there's there's this concept of making sure you maximize the match. What that means is maybe your company has a formula. Maybe it's 50% of the first 6%. What that means is that if your deferral equal that that's the amount that gets taken out of your paycheck, if your deferral for the year equals at least 6% of what you make for the year, they're going to match 50% of that for a 6%, all right? So if you if you doing 3%, a lot of people would say you're leaving money on the table because if you deferred more, you'd get more match, right? And But just straight up, you have more return on your money by actually getting a match. Absolutely. That's the fastest it's, it's way to get It's kind of like an immediate money. return on your investment. All right. Now then, if this video has been helpful, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment uh, for us at sales at hunterbenefits.com. I'd love to continue this conversation with you. So here's another thing that you should do. Roth you. deferrals. Does your plan offer Roth? What Roth means is that you pay taxes on it now, all right? But all the gain you get when you take it out when you're 65, you don't pay any taxes on that. Now then, the reason why this is really important for people who are starting off at the beginning of their career is that they're probably making the least amount that they're ever gonna make, so they're in a lower tax bracket, and there's some changes to the tax code where you don't really get any, there's really no pre-tax advantage for being in pre-tax. So talk, figure out where you are tax-wise and whether or not Roth is a good option for you at the end of the day, all right? So really, should you rely on Social Security? Um, no, not completely. I'm not saying bet the farm that it's gonna go away, but you need to take a little bit, you need to be a little bit responsible of, of what's gonna happen for yourself. You need to start preparing for your own retirement now. I understand 40 years in the future can be a really long time. It's gonna get, <laughs> it catches up really quick, okay? <laughs> All right, so do what you can now. Don't worry, uh, don't count on, um, don't, say that the only thing that's going to keep you going is going to be social security uh if you start preparing now you can you you'll be further ahead so if you leave a job should you cash it out or roll it over roll I mean, it's only up. just a little bit of money Will yeah it uh, yes because uh if, if you're in your 20s you're under 59 and a half okay so there's a 10 percent penalty right there okay you are if you put it in pre-tax if there was any employer money you're gonna pay um, with the, you're gonna take at least 20 percent off off the top of that okay that you're gonna pay in withholding taxes so you've reduced what you've had in your plan by 30 percent all right 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 to, uh, to begin with instead roll it over to your next job or roll it over to an IRA, all right? Um, if, if, you, if you're gonna keep moving jobs, if you keep bringing your 401k plan with you, you're gonna have a lot more money down the road instead of cashing it out every time you retire, right? Fantastic, yes. Okay. Any other good reasons for 20, 20 somethings to do a 401k plan? Jump in as soon as possible? Well, there, there's, yeah, and, and this kind of goes back to the, the, the time horizon, all right? Uh, if, some, if somebody's planning on um, retiring at age 65 and they're 64 years old, right, they don't have a lot of room for error. They don't, they, 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 they need to have a very low, well, they probably have a very low risk tolerance because you only have one year to make things up, all right? But if you're 25 and you're gonna retire when you're 65, that's 40 years. Generally speaking, that timeline works better with, um, with a, um, a more aggressive uh, investment strategy, which could look really bad in the short run, but if you keep it in the market throughout that time frame, you're gonna end up better off in the long run. And I would say, actually, the sooner you join one, people don't join it because they say, oh, I don't understand it or anything like that. The sooner you join it, the more time you have to learn about it. Exactly. I it, mean, it, it's, you, you, it takes a while to understand all the ins and outs. 
So start early. Start early, yeah. Be, be you know, be familiar with it. Uh, don't be afraid of it. Enroll. Uh, there's lots of there's, we've got a ton of videos on it. There's lots of other videos out there uh, to help figure out. Please note, we're not telling you what to invest in. Okay, just that the general concept is when you're young and you've got a long time horizon, uh, aggressive uh, very often works out uh, to be the better option. All right. So, um, if this video has been helpful, what should they do? They should, well, go, go watch our next video. Retirement experts, that's us, Rats. react <laughs> to retirement advice on YouTube. It's not always good. All right. And, uh, and it is reactionary. It is very reactionary. Thanks for watching. Take care. Toodaloo.